let's continue here now before we continue please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet and please if you can support me on patreon so i can continue making these videos and if you're not able to support me on patreon no problem just uh, avoid skipping those annoying ads that you see when the video starts or in the middle of the video that also helps me out so thanks and let's continue yes so we are in the product details section here and i want us to at least see an image and let's change a few things here like the price to reflect the actual thing that we are selling so the first thing we have to do is go to our product details controller because here is where we want to to know what's going on so let's check in the uh, Oh, remember how we made the controller some time back where we are looking for the the page name so we look for the page name here which is the controller which was found and the next thing looks for the model but if it doesn't find the model it's going to send this data over to the index here so the part which sends the data to the method is uh, let's go back here to app.php a little reminder a little bit so if we come back here where we are using this function said core user func array right in here we are running we are telling it what controller to run and in there what method to run but there's also this here this params now this params contains those parameters in the url that we are not assigned either to the method or to the controller so keep that in mind so all you have to do is to capture the first item here which is number three is just to put a variable right here so we'll put a variable here called uh, id for example just id like that and then because we know it's an id we just want to cast it as an integer so i'll say cast as int that way I don't get hacked very good okay which is not really a big deal since we use uh, prepared statements anyway so but anyway so that ID we will use to read from the database mm -hmm. okay so here I'll just say select all from products where ID is equal to i will do the id like that and then put a uh, comma there and of course we have to put the id inside an array so we can create the array right there like this and just say uh, id something like this and then put the id like that because this is an array that we created on the fly now if you don't want to do this you can create the array here and put the values there and then just just put the array there as we normally do but this will work as well so instead of rows it's going to be row so i will remove this rows just remove that s there okay and then i will go back to product details and let me look for where we are seeing the image so this is the image right here with the dollar sign is it wait a minute this is at the bottom so let's go up 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 up, up. we want the very first item not all these uh, suggested items here no this is the one right here around line 188 so all i want to see is if things actually worked out so i'm going to say us dollar right here i will put my php tags and say equals row price like so and close that remove the 59 so let's see if we uh we get we got that right okay so it's saying trying to get property price of none object mm. so it's not an object is it so let's go back here and see what's going on now it's the reason is simple here it's because we are retrieving one item and not many items so and we are not looping through it so let's tell it to get just the very first item there and that sorts the problem out 
So if I refresh now, you see I have an actual price. And let's look at the title here and change that to. So I will copy this right here, put it there, and replace price with the description. Description, like that. Description. Uh -huh. Refresh, and you see we have canned beef. Now let's deal with the image, of course. So where is the image? The image B, is it here? Or is it here? This looks like the legitimate image location. So I will do that and I will say image. But of course we need to add root dot. Uh -huh. Okay. So we have image over here, but uh, it's in the wrong place, isn't it? So I think we did replace the wrong image. So I will copy this data right here because the data is correct. So and just undo. That's for the rating. So the actual image is here. My bad. Sorry. So I will paste. Oh, is it though? Hmm. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Yeah, as I thought, not the place. Okay, so we undo that. Where is the actual image then? So there's the share, there's that. Mm. I think it's in a different div. Ah, so you see. Oh, it's for the carousel here. Mm -hmm. So the image is right there at the very top with that text zoom. There we go. So let's paste there. Refresh. Of course. There it is. Very nice. So here we have a carousel here where we'll be able to click left to right for the images that are selected here. The other images, of course. So let me come back here and let's see what's going on. So we have images here that are not working. Huh. So this similar image one, two, this is the carousel here. Similar image one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so let me just do uh, change things here so that we can see what these images really are. So I will select all these here and just add a root. No, actually assets like that and put a dot and then I'll put theme like that, a dot and then close that up like that. Actually, uh, what am I supposed to do here? I missed something. I need to close it over there like this. Sorry, my bad. But this way, at least we get to see the images here. So as you can see, if I click here, I can go through the images in a carousel format. Click here and it's supposed to show me that particular image, but it isn't. So no problem, no biggie. But we know that if we add our other images here, they will show like this. Yeah, pretty cool. So let's do exactly that. So here we will know that we have uh, image, two, image two, three, and four item active, right? And then item, why are there three images here though? I have no idea. So what we will do is let's replace the first one. So here I will copy exactly what I have done for the main image and just replace the source like this. Now out here, alternate is important for SEO as well, search engine optimization. So you might want to put the product description in that out there. Okay, but for now, let's refresh. And as you can see, we have uh, one image there. Pretty good, yeah? Although it's uh, way too big, but we will deal with that later. Uh -huh. Things are looking up, yeah? So instead of image one, we're going to have, we'll put image one there, but on the second one, 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's put image two here. Let's put a two at the end. Yeah, so now we have a second image here. Hmm. But wait a minute. Let me undo this. I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Let me paste it here instead and leave the other one as it was. Ah, right. Okay, uh, that looks more promising, doesn't it? And then let's put number three here. And then let's duplicate this and put number four here. One, two, okay so we don't have the other images here so let's get another product which has let's go to the home page oh oh boy oh boy why doesn't that lead to the home page i thought i dealt with these uh with these links here but uh, it seems i have not so we will need to fix that as well. So let me just use the, the URL there. So let's see that, okay, okay. So we'll have to deal with the, the header there. But I want to click on an, one that I know has many images. So I'll click on this one. And so I can see all of them going like this, like that. Okay, I think uh, that's good enough. So what I will do is delete the rest of these. I don't know why they put these others. Maybe in future we will find out and put them back. Who knows? That way I only have one image left each, like that. Refresh, yeah. That way I can go through these. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Very nice. All right, so in following videos, we are going to look at how to crop these images so that they don't stretch as much as they are doing now. And then we can see how to zoom the images and adding quantity there, etc., etc. All that cool stuff. Okay, so I will see you in the next tutorial.